At Grace, there are about half a dozen homes just up the hill from where we're standing right now. In fact, crews now starting to bring in some heavy equipment to stop this water from flowing so it, make it makes it easier to reach them. All this because that heavy rain led to some flash flooding here. Now, this is not a dried up riverbank. This is what was Sand Hill Road here in Newport. It was washed away by that heavy rain and flash flooding earlier today. We want to show you what it looks like while the water was flowing through here. No, that's not a waterfall. That's the road here in Newport. The fire department tells us this is a pretty big problem right now. They cannot get any emergency vehicles in or out of the area. They also say that about half a dozen people do live up the road from here. The only other way out is an old class six road that firefighters tell us is impassable for most vehicles. First responders are here assessing the damage right now, trying to figure up safe ways up and down the hill to reach those people. One neighbor we spoke with on the phone tells us that he was told the road washed out just before two o'clock this afternoon. He is grateful he still has his power on and everyone in his home is OK. Another person we spoke with says that he's seen some storm damage on this street before, but nothing to this extent. We're all all right. We're a, a strong community up there of the six or eight houses. And to give you an idea of just how serious this damage is, if you take a look down by my feet right now, you can see all the rocks that have been washed away in this strong water as well. We spoke with the fire department just a few minutes ago. They tell us it would likely take days to get things back in working order here. Live in Newport, Ross Ketchke, WMUR.